Hi everyone, Arjuna Page, and I'm working in this uh, 12 by 12 uh, Arjuna I made. I just took boring uh, 12 by 12s, folded them in in half, and just glued them back to back. And that's what I'm going to work on today. Uh, I've got a crazy idea. I was uh, keeping, uh, saving some uh, tea bags, uh, dry them, and I wanted to use the inside. To make my faux a, a <laughs> handmade paper and while I was taking out the tea leaves I was left with the tea bags and I really liked the color and thought maybe I can do something with it and that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to start gluing them to my page and I'm hoping to get a nice a background with all kinds of shades of this brown and also some texture of course i'm using plain white glue and i'm just going to glue them down to my page and i'm not opening them the, this is the bag that's where the tea leaves were in and i also have some tea leaves stuck inside and i don't care I'm just going to glue them to my page and layer them and I really hope there will be something interesting at the end and I'm gluing them quite randomly and we'll see also I don't want them a uh, symmetrical so I'm going to try and just Put them not uh, in line and some of them as you can see I didn't even cut straight when I wanted to take the to take out the leaves so we'll see <laughs> what turns up from this crazy idea I have oh I've got here something with a little bit of pink in it don't remember which tea it was I just took whatever I had dried it and that's it I didn't know I'm <laughs> I was going to uh, try and use them as a background so I'm just gluing them as you can see and I'm overlapping so I will have more texture and more interest I hope and that's it <laughs> that's the whole uh, thing that I'm doing right now the only thing is that I I'm really trying not to be symmetrical so I won't have one line going through my page I'm putting quite a lot of glue because I've got I still got some dried uh, tea leaves inside so it's a little bit bulky in some places and I've got two layers of the tea bag because I'm not opening them so I need all this glue to keep everything stuck together I'm really liking the colors that I'm getting now at first when I thought about trying this I I thought I will uh, cover the whole page but now I'm thinking that maybe I'll just do I'll leave some of the page to show through uh, at the edges I'm not sure yet I'm just gluing away intuitively <laughs> intuitive gluing that's what's going on here so i'm just going to keep gluing pieces and i'm going to come back when everything is in place and dry because this is just boring seeing me do the same thing over and over again i'll be back
I'm back. So, this is dry. I'm in love with this <laughs> background, uh, all these colors and texture. And I also got, still got tea leaves in, on the inside. So, it almost turned like one of my uh, four handmade paper, like all this. And I will put a link below uh, to the video how to make this. It's really simple and anyone can do it. So, when I was uh, thinking about this crazy idea, I haven't thought what I'm going to put on it, but I've just made some stamps the other day, and these are just made from pieces of uh, craft foam, and I think that's what I'm going to use, at least uh, start the page uh, with this. Uh, this is another piece of craft foam. I'm going to put some uh, acrylic paint on it, this is some dark turquoise and I think I will take another uh, shade uh, this is some dark green and I'm going to use a brayer like this and now let's see <laughs> Let's hope it will work. I'm uh, putting my stamp in it, making sure I have enough paint. Now I have got a lot of texture here, so I'm not sure what what kind of print I will get, but I'm not too concerned about it. And I'm just going to put it here and press it down and, well, I hope... I will have a nice print. I don't need a crisp one with really defined lines just to have some kind of leaf here. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> so it worked. And I'm doing this again, just spreading the paint and now I'm dipping the other one. Make sure I've got enough paint on it oopsie and let's see yeah I'm putting it here pressing it down I've got a lot of texture here <clears throat> and I feel like the page is still a uh, moist on the inside from all this glue so it has some curves and okay not a great print but i can live with it and once again i'm taking the other one just making sure i've got enough paint on it and here we go another one okay so we're <laughs> i'm starting to see something and let's hope i will get something nice sometimes when you don't plan you get all kinds of nice things I think I will just go over the lines later with some acrylic uh, pen marker and let's see I'm putting a little bit more paint here And this one, making sure enough paint on it, pressing it down. Next. <laughs> I know it's repetitive. I hope you are not getting bored. And here is another one. Okay, do I need more, one more here? No, I'm leaving it like this. And I want to add to more interest to my page. I've got this stencil with squares and all kinds of uh, rectangles. Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm confused. Sometimes I 
the most simple words I just forget. I just ordered this and got it yesterday from AliExpress. These are acrylic pens, markers, and well, let's see. So I'm thinking of just doing some using the stencil as a guideline to do some squares. Again, nothing needs to be precise. I'm just adding more interest to the page, more texture, visual texture that will correspond with the shapes I've got from the tea bags. <laughs> I'm so uh, not uh, in line. I probably could have done it without this stencil. But never mind. I think I'm going to overlap some of them. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm also going to use this marker to just go over some of the lines, like so. And I'll be back. I'm back. So, I've got this and I really wanted a butterfly here and I had this stamp and I started stamping it on all kinds of painty papers that I thought would work uh, on this but I'm not sure about it. I've uh, done two and cut them out. As you can see if I'm putting it, uh, any of them it blends into all these colors so I need something uh, well to frame it or to make it pop on the page uh, but I don't want to cover what I've got here so I was really uh, not sure what to do and then I remembered I've got all kinds of interesting meshes like this and I thought maybe this can be the framing for a, one of these butterflies. I'm not sure if I want it as a rectangle or maybe a, a circle. And if I'm using one of the meshes, then I still get what I have underneath. Not completely, but it does show through. So now I'm debating if a, what kind of background do I want for my butterfly, if it's this or this. This one has a little bit of gold, uh, so it shines a little bit more and more noticeable. So I'm thinking maybe using this mesh, because this is a little bit too green and again just blends uh, with the, the background. So, uh, do I do a rectangle or a circle? I think I will go with a circle. Let's hope I, <laughs> I can do something. Uh, I don't know. I need to find something, uh, some circle that will be, I want it a little bit uh, less in size than the butterfly. I want the butterfly to stick out. So I think maybe this will uh, work. So, let's take some marker and try to do something on the mesh so I can see where I'm cutting. And maybe it will also define the circle on the mesh with this black that I've used. Let's see. As I said, it wasn't planned this page, only the background, the crazy idea for the background. 
of course you don't have to need to have all this stuff if you don't have the, any kind of meshes you can use lace or i don't know uh, even doilies little doilies uh, paper doilies can work let's see where is the butterfly here it is so it does stick out I'm not sure it covers a, just a little bit this circle covers a little bit more than I want to let's take a step back okay I'm going to live with it and maybe I'm thinking Maybe I will just take my stamp again and do a leaf that will stick out a little bit out so I won't lose the, this whole thing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back. And I'm back. So I really like what's going on here. I just stamped the leaf so it will stick a little bit out and glued this now i only want to add a word here and i want to stamp it now each time you want to stamp on this kind of lots and lots of texture it's better to stamp on something like a rice paper or a the backing of a paper napkin this is one layer of white backing from a paper napkin and i'm going to take my stamp and I've got here archival ink and I'm going to put some again craft foam underneath it's better for stamping so I've got my stamp stamping it here I'm just holding it in place so it will soak in even if it's on paper it's better to hold it uh, for a few seconds just so it will take and now I'm going to take some a uh, brush with water go around it to take it out just a little bit more now why am I using the backing of a paper napkin or well, not only because I've got texture also because once it's glued it will uh, just disappear into the background. I'm using again white glue and I need a soft brush because this is very delicate. And I've used the archival ink because it's a permanent uh, ink. And now that I'm going to put some glue here, it won't smear the ink. So I'm just putting it here and now I'm taking more glue and from the inside to towards the outside just sliding it using the flat of the brush and once it's dry it's going to just disappear into the background just like that so I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back okay and this is dry it <laughs> it still feels like it's a little bit moist on the inside there is a lot of glue here but basically it did disappear into the background so I'm really pleased with it and this is it that's my page i hope you liked it i hope you will have fun doing something similar thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now